Welcome to Align with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course, your favorite psychic medium. I am able to go beyond the veils of life and death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much. So I wanted to do this Tell My Story edition. This Tell My Story edition, I will be connecting with Walter Wallace. There is a lot of things that I want to let you know from up front in the beginning that this reading probably will be very heavy, but this is a spirit message that it will be coming through. So I will be connecting with the divine and spirit. If his soul does somehow intercede or want to come into this reading, um, if it is safe, I will let him do so. If not, if it's a message that spirit is trying to convey without him, um, of course, it will come across. So I just want to warn you before you enter into this reading that it could be a very, very touchy. OK, this could be a touchy subject. Now, when I'm connecting with spirit based upon what is going on, all of the external events or all of the things that I keep seeing is that the world needs to come into some sort of balance with yin and yang. There is a principle that is, is sort of being formed out right now about balance, bringing some sort of justice. This is a time that a lot of things that were not uh, of justice or there was some sort of injustice in the previous lifetimes or something that happened before this is going to be something that is going to bring or bring about some sort of change of justice I'm also seeing um, as I connect with spirit in regards to Walter Wallace is that this is very emotional for the city for the energy of the people because it's so much going on right now during this time um, especially with many people focusing their energy on elections and there are some people focusing their energy on just trying to survive and being a sovereign being. But I also get that there's a lot of energy, a lot of push that's been pushed out into the world, into the internet. Spirit is actually guiding me to let you guys know that it's very important to stay focused on your personal journey. I cannot express this enough. This comes up very often. Now, when we address the situations and the issues that go on that's deeper than many of us can even fathom or imagine to understand how a son could possibly be shot and killed in front of their mother, in front of their loved ones, it goes very, very deep. Spirit is reminding us that these are wounds of truth. Triggers. These are things that come up from the past that are trying to block us or hinder us from our journey or our path to move forward because everyone is so busy looking at things that make them different than to versus then what makes them the same. I'm also seeing that the reason why this took place now what I'm getting from spirit is that Walter um, actually he has a great amount of support of family and friends people that have loved him. He's I'm also getting that he had to really, really work really hard when he was younger trying to come up, trying to prove himself as a man, trying to be someone of, of, of value, of statue, to have a hold some sort of importance in life. I'm getting there was a lot of obstacles and things that happened along his way, but he is he was pushing through. He was pushing through like each and every one of us every single day. Now, one of the things that I am getting also from Spirit is that he kind of broke away from his relationship with his mother him and his mother grew some distance when he became into manhood when he started to want to challenge his way in life and kind of it grew distance it wasn't as strong as it could have been he's also referencing that he did have on many occasions some altercations with family members and some people that he loved um, just like anything else he had disagreements and then if this was something or right around the time where he had just finished some sort of disagreement agreement now the disagreement that he had is probably with a cousin or some sort of family member that he has or someone he considers family he considers them very very close but he's saying this is not hindering their process okay but this sounds like the way he's explaining it is they have some sort of agreement so this could have came through some sort of organization this could have came through some sort of brotherhood but there is some there was some sort of blood contract or some sort of contract that he had with this male energy okay the male energy that he's talking about it seems like he's talking about it very casually that this was somebody that he loved it was a family member and they had it out probably prior a couple weeks prior to him passing or a couple of weeks uh, prior to this situation occurring I'm also getting that 
the energy around the city is very non-conducive for forward movement because some things like this have happened. I don't know if, I'm, if this is Eric Garner or someone. And is this in the same place as Eric Garner? I'm not for sure. I'm not familiar with this story. I just get all of my reports at one time and people are requesting. So I'm not quite familiar, but I keep getting something as a relationship to Eric Garner. Um, and this is probably a direct correlation, direct connection to, to him as well. Um, something about um, a choking, right? So this is probably Eric Garner that's coming through as well into this reading. So um, the city, this city he's talking about, he's so tired of there being no movement and no change. He's saying that he hopes that he will be the example for that. He hopes that it will be some sort of change, but he knows that it was a lot of things that were underhanded that will not be able to play out for some sort of justice. The community, the people surrounding in the area they feel tired overwhelmed that this same situation is coming up again and again and again and the city will have to pay for some sort of repercussions there is going to be a lot of things that are going to cause the city to pretty much just I'm you guys I'm seeing the National Guard come in I'm literally seeing the National Guard come in and move into this energy to help restore or retain, like bring some balance to the situation. But this is not going to be go over easy. This will not go over easy. By no way, shape, or form am I promoting any type of violence. I'm telling you what I'm seeing from the psychic realm. What is coming in spiritually? I'm seeing a heavy, heavy influx of like National Guard, National Security come in. I'm also seeing a lot of Key players into this you guys this is not something that I'm seeing play out just on the surface level I want you guys to go deep into things because when I'm able to go into deep into situations I'm going in the psychic realm but spirit takes me on a visual journey of what is going on and I keep seeing that a lot of this is being played out with political strings I'm seeing more than one political string played played out I'm also seeing that Biden, Joe Biden, the elector that's running for president, had a lot of uh, strings in this area, meaning that he had a lot of connections, a lot of pools, a lot of ties. And I'm seeing him with a heavy connection politically with the officers, with the police department, and with a heavy, heavy connection. And I'm also seeing this play out like someone gave someone an order, a permission, something to do something, to execute something, to take the attention off of where it needs to be. Now, what I'm seeing that currently right now is that astrologically, some stars are getting getting ready to conjunct. They're getting ready to make some sort of conjunction to, to bring about change, right? We're coming up on these energies. These energies are going to force and bring some sort of change into the aspect of the world and what is being seen. It's kind of like the veil is being removed, what was there at first. But I'm seeing very heavily that this energy is not coming in in any other type of way but to bring forth some sort of change and this could also be catastrophic from what I'm hearing is that it's a lot of emission of things that are going on in the world you will notice there will probably be some sort of um environmental change that is going on but I see that this is happening behind the scenes as this is playing out with Mr. Walter now when I look at him and I see his energy it's like he's reminding me that this is a part of the life that will will and cannot be changed unless perspectives are changed um he's very you guys he's very taken back He's very taken back by all of this and why it's playing out, why it's even happening in this lifetime. He is trying to be the voice. So you will notice that there will be a lot of ways that he will express his energy. He will not let up. There's going to be chaos in this city, okay? Chaos, complete chaos. Um, and the chaos will last all the way up until December. This is going into the new year, you guys. This is not going to stop. This is going to go into the new year to what people deem as the new year of 2021. But this is already the energy of 2021 taking place. A lot of chaos. 
there will not be any order until the National Guard will probably come in and restore some sort of balance. But that won't be until the next coming weeks. I'm seeing on the 7th of November, they will have the National Guard there to restore some balance because it's going to bring about a lot of change in the community as how they respond to these um, shootings, how they respond to these shootings and the murders and the killings of black men. Now, I want to express you guys that this is not my personal view. This is the view of spirit, of what I'm getting from the spiritual realm. I'm also getting that right when he was getting ready to go, that his last moments and his last times of connecting, he felt like he had total control of this situation. He felt like it was going to be... Um, very favorable for him to go home with his mom but he also says that he felt like um his his temper kind of pushed things overboard and he wasn't expecting for things to go overboard he's also saying that the heightened energy of seeing his mother there caused him to flip the heightened energy to know that he felt vulnerable as a man to not be able to protect himself, you guys. I don't think you hear me on this situation. I have to put the cards down myself. He felt vulnerable as a man to not be able to feel like he had no way out. Okay? And all of this, um, he said all of this transpired because of a ticket. He said something about a ticket. I'm not for sure what actually occurred, but he's saying all of this transpired because of a ticket, because of a piece of paper, because of a paper. He's also referencing that um, he, he, he has the guts and the glory and the fight to continue this, you guys. He is not letting up in the spiritual realm. He will continue to bring some change, okay? His job is not done. He will not stop until he's bringing this change. He's going to activate another part of his soul's mission behind the spiritual realm, okay? And then I'm also seeing that people are trying to capture or captivate his energy by not allowing him the proper things that need to happen, okay? Now, all the things that need to happen as far as like memorials or whatever that needs to happen for his body, his soul, it's like people are harnessing his energy to bring about war, okay? To bring about war within the city. He's not happy that he feels like someone is going to get away with this again. He feels like someone's going to get away with it again. He keeps saying that over and over and over. So I'm, I'm not for sure if he had a girlfriend, but he's talking about it's very possible that his lady friend or girlfriend or someone was there with him as well that saw all of this transpired. And it was very, very highly emotional. He's saying that he knows that he's a big guy. He knows that he's a big guy. He knows that he can appear to be tough. But he's saying this is totally unnecessary. He said he was smart. He was educated. He was wise. He was doing things with his life. He was trying to shift and change his life. He said that he know that he had a mouth on him. He know he knows who he was, but he never let it stop him from going through his cycle in life, you guys. And I'm feeling like the heart and the pain, the pressure that I'm feeling from the mother. May we send her love, peace, prosperity, blessings, and just comfort in this time of need for her. Because her heart is very, very heavy, you guys. He's talking to me as though he was getting ready to prepare like some sort of paper, like a dissertation or some sort of journal working or something. He's saying that he had like kept some sort of notes in a basket or a bucket or something that he was writing. This could be music. This could be something that he was writing that he was ready to present to someone. He was ready to bring forth about a different aspect of his life. And he's also feeling like there's many, many of people that are wanting to bring about some some sort of change. People are, need to speak about what is happening to the young boys, to the young boys in his community. He's saying that he's so tired of it, that there's so many young boys that are going missing, that is not moving forward in their lives and their career because they're they're young and they're trying to do things the, the right way, but they're not able to move forward in their life. He's saying that it's so many young people 
in his community, which is forcing them to live some sort of life of making it or not making it. He's saying that these are like different things that they that they have to pretty much. These are different things that are challenging every single day. And um, I'm also feeling you guys, like I said, this is a big, big situation because it's not just what you're seeing in the forefront. These are things that are coming behind the scenes. I'm seeing a lot of strings being called for this to happen on this day. I'm seeing it as a major, major implication to sway people away from things or information that are, will be coming out of news. And I see Joe Biden's name all over this, okay? I'm not into the presidential election and what is going on and all of these different things that's going on. When I connect with Spirit, Spirit is saying that this is a string that has been pulled that was pulled from a particular energy and the energy that is refer referencing is Joe Biden's. It's saying that this was something that needed to happen in this particular city because he has had ties in this city. He has connections within this city. This was a city that he was going to, I guess he was trying to win this city over um, or he knew that he was going to win this city open over. I keep hearing you guys that this is happening because there was some news that were, was going to break very, very soon that could have caused a, an election. I'm also seeing that Kamala Harris has a tie and connection to this city between just her job and the duty in the field in which she was, that she has a deep, deep connection to the city. And some strings were called, some strings were pulled on this day. And then um, I'm getting that the reason why Walter is saying the reason why his mother was even there in the first place is because she had got a call. She had got a call that to come to come there, to be there or something he's referencing. She had got a call to come there, to be there, to be around the vicinity, to come to see what was happening. And everything happened and transpired so quick. I, I feel like this was a, like a, a shoot to kill order. Like this was like some sort of killing order that was sent out. Spirit has also given us a message to go back and look at tactics of the Trojan War. To go back and look at tactics because these are tactics. And as I connect with Walter as he does make his transition in, he's understanding every single thing on a emotional level. How he feels. His girlfriend must have been there. Some woman. This is a girlfriend that he loves very dearly or a girl that he loves very dearly. I keep hearing a, a child, like a, a child talk. I don't know if he had a little girl, but he's talking, I'm referencing this, this love, this energy of this love being there and seeing everything happen and transpire between him. He's also referencing that with his energy you guys his energy doesn't feel like he's gone at all he is he has decided to like be in the spiritual realm and do a lot of work so you will not his energy is here it's on this plane it won't transition because he's unwilling to make a transition he is very 100 percent sure of what he wants to do um, and this is these are a lot of things that will trigger your emotional responses to situation. But spirits are asking you to go deep within and to not neglect um, a lot of the information that's been put put out from people of enlightenment, spiritualists that are trying to bring a lot of things forward at this time to help shift the energy into a different direction to help bring about this change that the world is going through and happening in a positive manner and not in a negative manner. So I keep seeing that this is very heavy, heavy right now. I also keep seeing that there will be a burning. There will be some fire. I don't know if somebody's going to set something on fire, but there will be a burning a fire that will occur. And this will be a big fire. This will be something that is going to explode this city and bring about attention. Attention to the city and to this place. Ah. I keep getting to there's a major outbreak in this place. And... A major major energy or shift in energy of an outbreak for 
um, sickness to come through and come in in the city. But that is also being overshadowed by this situation. It's not... What is in the front is not the visual sight. Um, but with connecting with Walter, he is very saddened, very hurt. He felt like he was a warrior during the process, but he just couldn't fight enough. He is going to make it a point to loop back around and come back into this re reality again when he gets ready. But for now, he feels like that he has some unfinished business to do in the spiritual realm. He said that he feels like himself that this was set up. This was some sort of organization plot. He knows that it's much deeper than what it appears because he feels it. He also felt that when he said that um, someone, I don't know if it was, he's saying something that he heard a whisper that, that you were going to die. You were going to be gone today. This was going to be the last of today for you. And I keep, the way he's referencing that to me, he's referencing it like that is what the officer told him that is what he knew so that could have been the spirit guys that was giving him this message and he knew it this is heavy stuff you guys I can't I can't even continue this reading it's so heavy Ugh. oh he keeps referencing the number 32 my gosh, this is heavy spiritually. This is not easy. When we look at the 32, we're, we're talking about Kobe Bryant. We're talking about all of these male energies and they all have something to do with spiritual work. He referenced the 23 and the 32 flipped. So this tells me that this is spiritual. He's saying it right now. He's referencing that he did like to watch football. He did have an a, a infatuation or a love for it, connecting with a football. Maybe he played when he was younger. But he wants his auntie and his mother to be strong because everyone is reliving this by day, by night, over and over again. He's saying that it's so easy to turn pain into anger, but he doesn't want people to turn into anger like he did. He was very angry growing up because a lot of things that he felt like that could have been changed were not. He's also referencing to in the military. I'm not for sure if his father was in the military or someone that was very close to him in the military. But he's also referencing all of these military acts that's coming in. There is an issue where they will not release his body. His, is something going on where he is not being released to his, to his loved ones. There's a hold on it. The reason why is because they are doing some things chemically. I can't go further with this reading. It's too heavy. <sighs> May his soul find love and peace. May his soul find that. I want to thank you guys for aligning with Ariana. If you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com. For more details, for more goodies, for more working your magic. Peace, love, wadu, bye.